I just love to read to children. I remember when I was a teacher librarian in the little kindergartners and early childhood education, the junior kindergartners came into my library and sat in front of me and just adored when I read to them because I like to make noises. I also like to read to older kids because I tried to make stories interesting using my voice and my face. So because I like to have fun, I always love to read books by Robert Munch because his books are meant to be very silly and enjoyed for their silliness. This book is called The Dark, and if you look very carefully at the dark blob up above, you can see that there's supposed to be something that looks like eyes. There you go. See? The eyes of the dark. When Julianne came down the stairs for breakfast, there was a big cookie jar on the kitchen table. She turned it upside down, but nothing came out. So she hit the bottom of the jar, whoop, 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 and still nothing came out. Finally, she held the jar up over her head and looked in it. A small, dark lump fell out, bounced on her nose, and rolled across the table. See it there in the middle of the table? Julianne said, What's that? Her mother said, What's that? The small dark ate Julie Ann's shadow and got a little bigger. The small dark ate her mother's shadow and got a little bigger. The small dark ate the toaster's shadow and got even bigger. I think it's a dark, said Julie Ann. By this time, the dark was as big as the toaster. Julianne's father came in and said, Hey, what's that? Julianne said, It's a dark. It eats shadows. Look at the dad's face. Boy, was he ever startled by the dark. Look at the face of the dark. Julianne's father picked up the dark and threw it out the window. The dark landed and bounced. Boing, 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 down the street. The dark saw lots of car shadows and it ate them up. The dark saw lots of telephone pole shadows and it ate them up. Uh-oh, it's getting pretty big and ferocious. The dark saw lots of house shadows and it ate them up. The dark even saw some butterfly shadows and it ate them up. The dark was now as big as a hill. It came back to Julianne's house, sat on the roof, and went to sleep. Look at Julianne down there. She puts her hand over her like this. Oy vey, what's going on here? The whole yard was so dark that Julianne could not go out and play. Julianne's mother and father said, What's this? They ran out to chase away the dark. But it was so dark outside they got lost. They could not even find the door to come back in.
Julianne was very upset. Then she saw that the dark had not eaten her chair's shadow. So she broke off a piece and held it out the window. She yelled, Food! The dark came right down the side of the house and jumped on the shadow. Uh-oh. I know what's going to happen. Do you? Do you know what's going to happen? Then Julianne broke up the rest of the shadow into little pieces and put them into the cookie jar. Right away the dark flew through the window and jumped into the jar to eat the shadow. Whoa! It's not what I was expecting. The dark loves all that wood. As soon as the dark was inside, Julianne put the top on the jar. She taped it with tape, she glued it with glue, she plastered it with plaster, and she roped it with rope. Then all her friends helped her carry it to a garbage can and they dumped it inside. Her mother and called the, called the dark garbage truck. The truck came and took the dark away. It never came back. Hip, hip, hooray, they're all saying. Hip, hip, hooray. All the shadows took a whole week to grow again. With a little bit of help from Julianne. the end. The dark. I thought when she gave the dark a piece of wood it was going to get stuck in the mouth because that's what happens if you're not careful. It's like a fishbone. But she was smarter than that, right? She got the dark into the jar and closed the jar tight so the dark couldn't get out and then tied it up and threw it away. Poor dark. Not to be afraid of the dark anymore, right? All you have to do is get it into the jar and tie it up. Now, good night. <laughs>